welcome back to my channel. I am here with another reaction to Invincible Season 2, Episode 6. I love this show. You guys know this, but I'm so happy that it is back. It took far too long, okay? But I'm not gonna complain. We are back with more Invincible. Now, apologies that this video is late. <sighs> I didn't want it to be late, but this week I actually got invited to a premiere by Netflix, so it was kind of a big deal for me this week. I went down to London with Stijo and we were invited to the red carpet event for the brand new show Three Body Problem, which as you know is to do with the guys from Game of Thrones. Let's not complain about the last couple of seasons. So yeah, it was good. You know, I was super nervous in the beginning, but overall the night was just phenomenal. Like I, I really enjoyed it. So that is why I'm a little bit late with Invincible this week. It's just been madness, absolute chaos. Kind of like the show, you might say. Now, the end of the last episode, we got Alan! He had one episode. Like, was it a full episode? I feel like it was a full episode. I'm not remembering, but he had an episode at the start of season two and I fell in love with him straight away. And we thought that he was done and dusted. If you're new here, by the way, hit subscribe. And also, if you're new here, I haven't read the comics or anything like that. So I don't know where this show is going. I like to keep it that way. And Alan woke up. He is now buff man. He's beefy. He still has his beautiful personality. He's quite soft. I want to say, and he woke up with a Veltramite there who decided to just take off their beard. Why not? And he has been given the mission to go and get Invincible because Invincible has his own drama that he is dealing with just now. But I think Alan and Invincible, they could team up. We might have like the duo to beat all duos. It could be awesome. Now, don't forget, if you want to watch this unedited with me, to head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk, or head on over to my Patreon. The link, everything you need, is in the description. All right, I'm going to turn my lights up a little bit. It's just a little bit dark in here. There we go. Right, let's do this. <gasps> Bug! <sighs> don't kill Rex, please! We've lost enough already! Just do it, you- No! Freak. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! No! 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 I- I didn't think I was gonna do it! Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Come on, you get up! I thought we got a cliffhanger because he was gonna be okay. Almost done. Whatever you are planning, it will fail. Oh my god! I just feel like everyone's gonna die. We will grant you death instead. We can't give up! Can we just kind of retreat and, you know, come back on a different day? Maybe a Saturday? It tickles! <laughs> it tickles! Oh my god, it's so disgusting! Close your mouth! You don't want them in there! Done! Tell them someone has to get this close to us and then press the button! Come on, guys! You got this! Please, no more death. Please, no more. I'll do it. How dare you? Stop it. I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it. This is not the time for arguing. Just do it. Cover me. I mean, okay, you can be stronger, but he's immortal, so it'd be fine. 
Oh my god, I can't watch. I can't watch. I'm freaking out. I can't keep them. Don't go for Eve, please. Oh my god. God. Thank God, you guys. I was so scared for her. Just happy to be me again. Yes, hooray. 10 out of 10. We need to go now. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we just go now before they decide to take over the door or something? Agree to my demands and I will consider not destroying half of the nation. <sighs> Are you shitting me? Well, look at this brave little soldier. <laughs> You have to be kidding me! There was point blank in his brain! Oh my god! Oh my, how sad. Shut up. God, is Rex even able to do anything? This, I can't believe what I am seeing right now! I, I just, I'm on the edge of my seat! He's punching him with his no hand! <laughs> Sir? Are you alright? Yeah, he's alive, kinda. Why would you. That's a weird question. I'm fine. Totally good. Huh? Never. Can somebody just like. Patch him up already, please, otherwise it's gonna bleed out. I'm practically <laughs> brilliant. We need to get this guy to an OR now. Get a stretcher over here. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand how he's alive. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> She's- oh my god! Ray? This is insane! They, oh my god! You saved us from the sickweeds, and for that we are grateful. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, look, we gotta go. But we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer. We don't need him anyway. Just take him. Whatever. Guy's a hazard. What kind of punishment? Death. Death? <laughs> I understand. Wait. We took him with us. Okay. Fair enough. We are too like forgivable. Do you know what I mean? Like he caused all of this, and we just take him home. Whatever happened to, like, not getting into otherworldly affairs? I mean, this is kind of their problem, no? That, I gotta say, man. Watching what he is doing right here, he gives me such Omni-Man vibes, you know? Like, he is so powerful. As long as he doesn't get corrupt, he's fine. Thanks. Yeah, well, you know, I... Trained with the best, right? <laughs> oh. Good work. Thanks. Oh, that's huge! Amazing. I was able to control my fear response this time. 
I changed myself. Fixed a problem. I can do the same for Don't. But it just makes sense to- I said, don't. Oh, it's just that he really cares about you. Like, he cares so much. Let him care. Thank you for the update, Cecil. I'm glad Mark and the others are safe. But let's be honest. That's not the only reason you're here. Yeah, go away. The baby is not yours. Because a top secret government lab is the perfect place to raise a child. We paint clouds on the ceiling. <laughs> like, seriously? Okay, I can do that too. Your mom is far, far away. And your dad... Well, your dad's a bit of an asshole to me. Again, I'm more than qualified to do this. Isn't that right? Mm. All right, you win. I still want to know what his name is, though. We don't I'm have a name for him. Mm. It's nap time. Bye-bye, Cecil. Don't you have other matters to attend to? I'm gonna need an entire box of Q-tips to get all that sequid slime out of my ears. <laughs> You're lucky you only got some in your ears. Oh. Donald? Uh-oh. That's right. Oh, God. A lot happened. They're gonna feel so responsible, man. Like, yeah, we left. But everything will be fine. Like, we won't be gone for very long. Oh. Especially after the speech that he gave her just before they left. You know. Oh, Eve. But he's alive. At the end of the day, he's alive. It's just, you know, what will he be after this? That's the question. It's not what you want to come back to after such a difficult mission that was difficult for them, too. Barbara! <laughs> you named him after Grandpa? Well, he needed an actual name besides Nolan's alien baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like it. Well, I'm assuming his name isn't Brabra, so I wonder what it is. Her unwavering belief that this world is good, even when it killed her over and over and over again. Kate never stopped believing that. She went in a really nasty way as well. Like, she had all of these clones and then they just ripped her apart. It was horrible. He must have really felt something for her. He's really caught up about this. Why do I feel this way, Marcus? Because you loved her, man. Aww. I loved many others before, Kate. This is what they call true love. And you know it. When you get true love, I you know it. It's in your heart. Oh, buddy. <sighs> That's really cute. See, I get a Starbucks all the time and it's always to take away. So I never get any like funny decorations anymore. Or if I do, they're in a cup. Well, how's your new brother? Is he adjusting? Is your mom losing her mind yet? Uh, Oliver's doing great and they really get along, which is awesome. Oliver, okay, that's kind of cute. It, it turns out Thraxen babies don't have enzymes to break down solid food. We're hoping his Viltrumite half will kick in soon. Uh. <laughs> I hope that the Viltrumite half is also, like, kind as well. Really thought college would be different, right? You know, like late night study sessions, secret dorm parties, spending time with my girlfriend. Instead, we hang out less than we did before we went to college. The thing is, you're not normal college kids, though. You're a superhero. It's our first year of college, our first time living on our own, and it 
Feels like we're missing it. Yeah, sometimes I wish I never got powers. Then I could just be with you and forget about everything else. I'm concerned here. I'm seeing a potential breakup coming. So, what do we do now? Ooh, I'm feeling like I think we should take a break kind of vibes. I'm here to help facilitate his transition. If there's anything I can do, just call me. That is so kind. Thank you. Come on, Rick. I guilted the college into giving you a private room in the dorm next door. I already decorated it. That's nice. That was a while ago, man. He went through intensive body reconstruction. That kind of trauma can resurface. Donald, are you okay? Yeah, he's kind of talking about himself there a little bit too, Mark. Tell William I'll check in later to see how Rick's doing. Uh, okay. Bye. I feel like Donald's going to have a complete breakdown and do something stupid. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. To every woman I've ever dated. None of them deserved it. Well, ask yourself why, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, why are you like that with them? You here to see Rex? Yeah, I try to stop in when I can. Oh, these, uh, um, turns out Rex really likes home decorating magazines. Wow, that's not something that I thought he would like. Hey, I haven't seen you since Kate's funeral. Are you okay, Mark? Yeah, no, um, I'm... Fine. <laughs> anyway, I, I I gotta run, so I'll, I'll see you around. Something has happened between him and Amber. I don't think it's good. You're the only person I know who still reads magazines. Oh, I'm cultured like that. And plus, the internet sucks. I think this is gonna be like a new lease of life for Rex. He and Amber are... <laughs> I called it! I called it! Ten best bedroom makeovers? Uh, yes, please. So, Helga. Does this mean that Eve can, like, sweep on in there? Because I always said that Eve and Mark would make such a good relationship. I'm not comfortable <laughs> hiring a spy. Spy? I don't understand. I was married to Nolan for 20 years. I can spot Cecil's people a mile away. So, thank you. Bye-bye. God, he is just crazy. Like, take the hint, Cecil. Now, before we begin, you should know that Cecil sent me. Now, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer. Especially one looking for someone to take care of their child. I mean... Okay, sure. <laughs> if you're gonna be honest from the get-go. My philosophy on child rearing is simple. Encourage a child's natural curiosity for the world. And do not allow them to have scissors. God. I work for you, Miss Grayson, not Cecil. Period. You're the boss, not him. <laughs> Mama boss. <laughs> I mean, she does. I don't know anyone that has come because of Cecil. I don't know if I would feel comfortable having them in the house. Like, I totally get her concerns, 100%. I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be, and that's not the kind of person you need on the Guardians. But you know how to find me if you need my help again. And you know where to find me when you change your mind. I don't like that. Like when you change your mind. Ugh. Amber? Your place really blends in with the trees. I walked past it like five times. Can we talk? Wait, so did she break it off or did Mark break it off? I'm gonna say that she broke it off, but if she's going to Eve, there's a big part of me that thinks Mark is the one that broke it off. Ah, I see. <laughs> Girl trouble. That obvious, huh? It's all over your face, kid. Pull up a chair. 
This is kind of cute because obviously he doesn't have his dad that he can go to about this. I've only dated one guy. Rex was my first serious boyfriend, which is sad and embarrassing to admit out loud. <laughs> Until I finally had enough of him cheating on me every time he left the tower. It was the lying that hurt more. He made me feel like I was crazy when I started figuring it out. That really sucked. Eve is such a kind girl as well. And I hope that maybe Rex realizes what he did to her and that he was wrong. When bad things happen, Mark has to drop everything and go. Yeah, everything, including you. I don't care when Mark cancels our date or forgets to text. I mean, he's saving the world. It's. She loves him, but she wants to be with him more, you know? It's like she wants a regular relationship with him, but he's not regular, you know? Mark needs someone who is there for her, who really understands what she's going through in college and what it's like dating a superhero. <sighs> I do. I feel like they're never going to get back together and he's going to get pushed onto Eve. I feel it like in my heart. Hey, your mom told me what happened with your dad on Thraxa. It had to be tough seeing him again. Even after everything he did, I didn't realize how much I missed him. Oh, that hug, I'm still never over it. No one wrote more than just travel books. What? He wrote sci-fi novels under a pen name when you were a kid. None of them sold right, so he gave it up. Can you believe he gave them to me as a tip once? Oh, perfect! Yes! <laughs> Gonna exactly find out. Hate tribes on the planet wreck? I told Nolan they were great. Real exciting. Uh, I never read them. Well, maybe it's about time somebody did. I don't remember this. It, uh, commemorates D.A. Sinclair's, uh, victims. Victims? You're the only one who, uh, recovered. That's gonna be a lot for him to take in right now. Who am I if I can't even remember what I'm missing? Rick, I'm so sorry. It's going to be Bless all right. Him. I promise. We'll get through this together. What they are doing to these people is so wrong. I don't know. Like, there's a part of me that was kind of agreeing with the process in the last episode, but I feel like I'm changing my mind on it. Just seeing the trauma coming out of these people. The Infinity Ray. <laughs> It was said to emit an unstoppable energy wave that destroyed anything in its path. But it required a steady hand. I'm just trying to think, like, what would be in his books that would help us in this situation right now to get him back? Or maybe it's not to get him back. After finding no usable resources, my partner and I were ready to return home. But the planet had other plans. Oh my god! That just gave me such a heart attack! Ragnars. Jesus! Oh! Oh! Ow! I mean, that can't be easy to fight with the gravity being like that, too. I've battled creatures ten times their size. But because of the gravity on this planet, Ragnar's had it. Oh, oh no, it's gonna get no. in! Oh no! Unfortunate! I had grossly underestimated these creatures. And I feel oh, God. this place would be my grave. Wait. No way. Wait, what, what, what? I wasn't putting it together. What did I miss? 
What is that? Someone's coming in hot from deep space. Omni Man. Wait, no, no, it wouldn't be. Oh, where did Invincible say he lived again? Crap, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> no, Immortal, stop, stop, it's Alan. It's just Alan. How can I hear you speak? Okay, it, it, it's just this implant I have. It lets us communicate telepathically. It's not a big deal. Get out of my head! Oh my goodness. You can understand why he might think Omni Man because of his build, Omni you know? And chill the hell out. He's not attacking you I back, Immortal Storm! And then that was not nice. What the hell is going on? I don't know. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those on Earth, right? Douchebags? <laughs> oh, um, my thing only works between me and someone else, not between two other someone else's. It's a design flaw. I I'm told there's an update coming. <laughs> Hi, sir. Mark says I'm a pal. He also says I'm essentially the king of space, uh, so you should be very nice to me. Also, he says he hates your dumb beard because it's missing all the best parts of a beard. These parts. <laughs> you just charged up here and attacked me. Not very heroic of you, Earth superhero <laughs> of Earth. I... I thought He's just being else. paranoid. Aww. Oh, immortal. He just wants his revenge. Look, we need to talk. Can we go somewhere that's not, like, in space? And also, for future reference, will you just point to where you live? Yeah, that was crazy, man. As quick as Immortal was out there. Like, he really isn't in a good headspace to be able to do anything on the side of the Guardians. Come on, just send it! Communication! Nah. Nope. All right, we should be... Good now. You know, on my planet, a sock on the door means somebody's fucking. <laughs> oh! Well, you might believe that too, considering the state of the bed. I know, right? It turns out he rebelled against the Empire like years ago. So that makes two of you. It's not much, but it is a start. Now, we can only win over your dad. Yeah. Uh, about my dad. Yeah, we may have to go and rescue him first. I am to escort you to Telesria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. Grab your stuff, Mark. We got a boogie. What? No. I, I just got back from space. Twice. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. I mean, this is pretty much why he's not able to have a girlfriend, because there is too much going on in the world. Hey, is that Space Racer? But it's Space Rider in the book. It's Space Racer in real life, and he is legendary in that no one is sure if he's real or not. <laughs> in these books is real. And it's all stuff that can hurt Viltrumites. That's why my dad wanted me to read his books. He's telling us how to defeat the Empire. Oh, shit. Yo! God, could you imagine if these books actually did get destroyed? Yeah, I, I still don't get why they took him away when they could have just killed him on Thraxa. I've heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. Want me to ask around? It is kind of strange when you think of it that way, though. Like, they had the option to kill him, but instead they just wanted to take him away. Why? Or maybe they want Mark to come after them. I don't know, but they gave Mark a different mission, so... Yeah. There is a path to redemption. Rejoin your people, Nolan. Let this not be your legacy. And then do what? What do you want him to do? You were one of our greatest warriors. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Answer me! I don't like seeing him treated this way! Like, I don't like seeing him this week. He's not. Oh, Nolan, no. 
Listen, it's very hard for me to be a hater of Nolan's. It really is. I really hope that he gets some kind of like redemption arc or something. What the hell? May I ask, sir, what's the occasion for such a fine suit? I'm visiting an old friend. Oh no! Oh no! Who? Are you zombies? What the hell? Ah, uh, it is good to be home. <laughs> time wow we haven't seen him in absolutely ages though in fact that's something that we haven't really had to deal with in a very long time is the different dimensions because that was very much like the first couple of episodes and then they just kind of stopped going on about that and now we're, we're going back on again about the Veltramites the brother whose name is now Oliver very nice so it's awesome news that we managed to get some of the books and it doesn't make much sense though why why would Nolan write books that detailed all of a Veltramite's weaknesses just given that he was the guy that used to go around and conquer so many planets, he was obviously quite happy with the role that he was playing. And for him to then, like, have this place that somebody could read and find out exactly how they are weak, it just doesn't seem like a very smart thing for Nolan to have done. But hey, whatever. We have all of that information and Alan and Mark have been reunited since season one and yeah, I feel kind of bad for Immortal. I really like his character and I don't like seeing him go down this really, really depressed road after losing his lady friend. I can't believe he said he loved her too. Like, <laughs> I thought they'd only been together five minutes, but anyways... And how shocking was the start with Rex? Like, usually what happens if they do a cliffhanger, something like that, um, you would think that Rex would be able to, um, I don't know, like, make his way out of it and be totally fine. But for them to just shoot him point blank like that, yeah, it was shocking. Like, it absolutely just... Took me by surprise, but I loved it regardless. <laughs> I loved the episode. I didn't love them shooting Rex, if you know what I mean. That was a lot. All right, another amazing episode of Invincible. Also shocking that Amber has broken up with Mark or vice versa. I think that maybe this is leading some room for Eve. And Mark, but time will tell, I suppose. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!